Hi, this is Pat Miller, Gabby Gourmet, and we're here for a Friday edition of The Gab. Sort of a cool Friday. Actually, it's a cold Friday. So what better place to speak to than the new local Jones? I guess you're not that new anymore with Charlie and Josh. I'll have you introduce yourselves now. Welcome and thank you for taking the time. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Um, I'm Charlie Dodge and I'm the general manager of food and beverage at the Halcyon Hotel and local Jones. And hi, I am Josh Sutcliffe. I am the executive chef of the Halcyon Hotel and local Jones and we're very excited to be here. And just so people know from the beginning, where is local Jones in the Halcyon in case we didn't know? Charlie, where are we at? Um, we are on, we are in Cherry Creek um, and our address is 249 Columbine Street. And because you are, well, you're not really you're separate from the hotel, although you're attached, right? Correct. Yep. We, there is an entrance from the hotel as well, um, but we, we are a separate entity from the hotel. Okay. I guess we should start with the restaurant. So tell us about Local Jones, when you open the concept and all that. Yeah, I'll tell my piece. Uh, Charlie's been involved longer. She's been with the company longer. I was brought in towards, towards the end of getting everything finalized. But uh, uh, Local Jones is, is a neighborhood restaurant here in Cherry Creek. Uh, we serve great seasonal fare um and, and 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 gabby as you know we we try to have a little bit of everything for everybody so our menu is diverse um and we try to use uh, local ingredients and cook with the seasons as much as possible when when time can permit and um again we don't change everything that's not what we're trying to do um but we do try to cook with the seasons as much as we can so we have stuff from queso to ceviche, to chicken enchiladas, to a cheeseburger, uh, to to great steaks that we get from uh, River Bear here in Denver, Colorado. And the market fish is my favorite. <laughs> I never had a steak there, so I don't know. I have enjoyed almost everything else tastes of. And what brought you, where are you from, Josh? What, what brought you to Colorado? Uh, long story short, originally I'm a country boy from North Carolina. Uh, moved, moved away to San Francisco for a couple of years, met my beautiful wife. We uh, moved to Dallas, Texas, where she got her job with American Airlines. And we were there for the past seven years. Uh, it was really great to us. And uh, COVID happened. We were looking to escape the heat, you know, make a change. And uh, this opportunity came, came, af came afloat. And uh, we took it and ran with it. And here we are. And, uh, you know, I, I told somebody last night the best decision I think I ever made. Um, Yay for you. Great team, great restaurant, uh, great city, love the weather, love the people. Um, thus far, it's been really, it's been a great, great four months for sure. I sort of agree with you on all those subjects. It's pretty cool. I've yeah. only been here for God knows how long. I think <laughs> I came when I was two, but I'm not sure. I wasn't, I was older. Charlie, tell us a little bit about you. Um, so I was born in Michigan. Um, I've worked in restaurants since I was 15 years old. I moved to San Diego for 20 years. And then I arrived in, I've worked in a variety of everything from casual restaurants, fine dining, um, nightclubs and hotels. So I've pretty much done all facets of hospitality. Um, and I moved here May 1st of last year. So. I've been here a little over a year. I love it, but it is a little cold for me. <laughs> I look, I've been here. I only come like blah 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 years, and it's a little cold for me too. But yeah, yeah. at least uh, the sun comes out eventually. In a sure does. It's it sure. is a very very beautiful thing, um, and Denver is a very magical place. So I'm very lucky um, that I found Josh. We are all born on the same day. We found each other. We found each other. No, don't tell your wife. <laughs> I know she does. So did you come here specifically to go to Local Jones? Um, yeah, specifically to work for Make Ready and um, work for the Halcyon and open up Local Jones. Oh, good for you. 
And that had to be quite an undertaking. It was. Um, this is my 13th restaurant I've opened. So um, it's I'm not new to it, but I can tell you that it was probably the most challenging. Uh, opening up a restaurant during the middle of a pandemic is something I've never done before. You know what? I don't think anybody else has. Either. Yeah, every day, you know, brought on new challenges. We're just, we're just taking it one day at a time That's and all we can do. running with it. Okay. Uh, well, there's many questions I want to ask about the restaurant, but when you say the pandemic, when you designed Local Jones, did you, obviously it was going on, were you thinking about what you were going to have to do as requirements were going to change? Um, you know, we did not because the restaurant was designed um, long before right. we found out about the, the pandemic. So we didn't really take any of that into consideration. Um, it was something that, you know, we took into consideration after the fact and, you know, putting in the restrictions. Um, we are also very lucky that we have a really significant size of space. So for us, it's very easy to properly social distance um, and, and still, you know, fit fit people in the restaurant. Yeah, well, when I see your restaurant, I've obviously been, but it is well spaced even inside. Now yes. what's going to happen with outside? I know you have a beautiful patio and a great tent, but what happens now? Um, we, we're, we're going to continue to have outdoor dining as long as possible. Um, as you know, we also get very beautiful, sunny, warm days all the way through November, December. Um, so we'll continue to utilize our patio as long as weather permits. Do you have heaters out there? We do. They're, they're nice. Well, we sort of need them today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure. I guess if it's snowing, it really doesn't matter. You're not going to want to be outside. And the new restrictions now with five instead of 10 just as applies to the amount of people at a table, I assume. Correct. And actually, um, the re restaurants are exempt from that. Oh. Um, yeah. So we're very lucky, um, thankful that the governor allowed the restaurants to continue to, you know, have reservations of 10 um, because I can tell you, especially from you know, our director of sales, Candace, her family is 10. So right. you couldn't go out to eat with, uh, you know, they couldn't go out to eat together anywhere. Well, I have lots of friends who have family. I don't have that big a family, but there's <laughs> nobody, but we're all going to end up having Thanksgiving for one, Yeah, you know, if this keeps up. Right, well, we, we, we are offering uh, Thanksgiving Good. takeout. Yeah, tell me, tell me about it. I really do want to hear now because I'm not dressing in costume for Halloween. So let's get to Thanksgiving. So, so we're gonna we're gonna offer. Uh, we'll have like a smaller limited a la carte menu. It won't be much smaller. Uh, that way, if somebody wants to come in and, and have our staples, um, and and they don't want to eat turkey for Thanksgiving for whatever reason, they want to eat a cheeseburger and a Caesar salad, then we'll have that available for them. Uh, but then we're also gonna do a Thanksgiving menu. So we'll do. Uh, some of your classic, uh, you know, we're going to do turkey with stuffing. Uh, I'll do some kind of really nice mushroom gravy. We'll do uh, some kind of green beans, some kind of vegetables, some kind of... <laughs> green beans with canned onion rings. No canned <laughs> onion rings. No, no, And no. sweet potatoes with marshmallows. Well, no marshmallows. No, no marshmallows here. So we're going to do a really nice Thanksgiving menu. And then uh, we're going to, we're also going to offer, uh, we'll have a limited availability for pick up and take home also. So we'll offer it in the restaurant. Um, and then- oh, I, I'm hoping that that's what you were gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you could dine in or take it to go. Yeah, we're gonna okay. offer Let, to go, so. Just as a question, because I've heard of places who do this. Let's say I have four, you know, do you, are you doing whole turkeys to go? Or just four turkey dinners. It's going to be turkey dinners. We're not okay. going to do turkeys. Yeah, we're going to do. Um, it's essentially it's going to be like a like a plated plated meal for you. Yeah. Okay. 
right. Now, are you doing delivery and or, and or carry out now? We are doing carry out. Um, we are not doing delivery at the moment, but we are going to be doing delivery in the next couple of weeks. I'm just finalizing some um, items with the, you know, the different delivery services. So um, we will be also doing delivery and currently we just do take out. Okay, but anybody can call and get takeout. Yeah, anybody can call and get takeout. And if there's anybody that is not feeling comfortable, you know, coming into the restaurant for some reason, we will take it out to your car as well. Okay, you just say so when you order it. Yeah, you, when you call, just, to, you know, we tell you, call when you arrive and we'll run it out to you. Great. Okay, now tell me about, you must have a new fall menu. I have totally enjoyed the summer goodies. I hope you still have the Cobb salad. I we, do, yeah. we keep the staples. Yeah. We'll always keep the favorites of the staples. Yeah, the and it's not not huge, but we made a couple changes. Um, you know, we've changed our fish, our our salmon dish, uh, to to use sun chokes that we're getting from uh, Esoterra Farms in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, we've changed one of our salads that is so good: squash, acorn squash, kabocha squash. Uh, brown butter, apples from Colorado, and then some really beautiful uh, chicories from also at Esoterra Farms. Who are up they have to meet you for that one. Okay. It's really, it's really nice. And again, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, you know, we're doing a really nice pumpkin seed kind of grimalada on top with the roasted squash and brown butter, uh, beautiful squash puree, and then just like the, the greens that are dressed really nicely in uh, like a roasted apple vinaigrette. And then, and then we change some desserts. We've got a really nice sticky toffee pudding that we put on for fall uh, from bourbon caramel. And, and then we just put on a, a pavlova that doesn't scream fall. It actually springs like, meta, uh, it springs like I'm out in the, in the Caribbean. Um, <laughs> but we, 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 we had some stuff that we had in house that we inherited that we're, that we're trying to just turn into delicious masterpieces. Okay. Well, Added a tomahawk steak. And we all, yeah, we added a tomahawk steak, a yeah. big bone in ribeye. I, I, as I, I haven't had any of your steaks or burgers. So I'm. We got to get you back in. The meats um, are good. I, I'm sure they're good. Uh, <laughs> and you're doing lunch now? You sure are. We are. We're doing breakfast. We're doing lunch. Lunch has been wide open. It's going really well. And um, we're also doing happy hour. Yeah, happy hour. So, oh, really? When I was there, it didn't open until 5 o'clock. Yeah, so we do happy hour Monday through Friday from 5 to 6 and also from 9 to 10. So we have an early happy hour and then a reverse happy hour. Um, and then on Friday night and Saturday night, we do the reverse happy hour from 10 to 11. Wow. And Sunday. I won't be there. <laughs> that way, the yeah. in the hotel, you know, everybody's popping in. Oh, night. no, I think that's great. Yeah, it's really fantastic. It's, it's been really great. I think people are really enjoying it. And Sunday, you started to say you do what? Yeah, we do. Sunday, we do it all night. Oh, happy hour all night? Yep. Do you feature more dishes or wines or drinks? Both. So we have a food, uh, several food items on there. Um, they range from five to seven dollars. Um, and then we have several drinks. Um, we even have an Aperol spritz. We have a Catalan martini for five dollars. So we do um, you know, really great food and drinks rather than because my thing with happy hours is I never go to them. Well, one, I'm never out of work in time, but two, if I don't drink, you know, what normally goes on a happy hour menu? I had the same issue. I I mean, I would drink uh, Aperol Spritz for sure. So I wanted to put things that were a little more fun on the menu. Right now, when I get there, they give me a choice of one wine that I'm not crazy about. Exactly. I'm, I'm sorry. I yeah, I didn't want to do that. So, and Josh's food is amazing. We even got a compliment from another executive chef the other day on some of our happy hour items. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Okay, now you were talking. We're trying, we're trying to make people happy. That's all we're trying to do. Play. Make me happy. It's just going into restaurants now is for becoming sure. more and more of an issue. 
and uh, you know you're not growing any of your own vegetables and things right no not yet maybe one day oh. yeah a little, we have a roof. We have a beautiful roof. We have roof. a little garden roof upstairs that we could maybe get like eight herbs and flowers, but no, we don't we don't have anything set up yet. Okay. But you do have a rooftop or I assume enclosed at this point or not. From so we don't have an enclosure on the roof, but we are in the process of winterizing our cabanas so that we can use them throughout the winter. Um, putting a heat source and enclosing them. Um, we're going to do a fun little dining experience up there. So you can come, you know, with your five friends and, and have a really nice evening out and have a dining experience. Tell with me them. a little bit more about that because I know somebody who wants to write about those. Is, is it um, enclosed? Yeah, so it'll be enclosed. The, that'll be a tent that'll be enclosed. So that'll keep the heat in. Um, and then, well, I, whoa, whoa, excuse me, a tent for five people or six people. Yeah, you, I mean, not a tent for like out in front. No, there'll be individual cabanas. In okay, club. okay. Come with the group, and we have six of them. So you'll have your own individual, you and your friends, or you and your family. I'm writing this down for somebody who's doing a story on this. Yeah, so if you want to know, sure, yeah. Um, it's we. It's gonna be really fun. Um, we're also putting a curling rink up there. So um, people can come and do some outdoor activities and- I could use some right now. Okay, when are these cabanas gonna be ready? Um, we are in the process of building them now. So we're hoping to have them by the end of November or a little bit sooner. Okay, that sounds like fun. And- uh, you were saying that um, your restaurant week is happening again. Yep. Which, sure. I mean, God bless them. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Are you, are you preparing for carry out for restaurant week? Both, yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I know you do. And it's still priced 25 35 45 per person. Yeah, we're, we're in the 35 menu. So we're doing the $35 menu is what we've chosen and giving, you know, people a great experience and getting, we just want to get people exposed to the restaurant because once we feel that they come in, then they'll want to come back. So it's an appetizer entree dessert. Exactly. And what are the entrees or do you know? Uh, yeah, the entree. So the, the first course is going to be a choice of our simple salad or a or a soup, seasonal soup, uh, which is going to be a sun choke. And then we're going to do a choice of a couple of our staples. We'll do our a choice of enchilada, our market fish, um, which will be on a betta polenta with the onion jam and mushroom and chicken jus. And then we'll offer uh, our daily pasta. And then we'll also have a vegetarian feature, which is going to be a cauliflower steak uh, with roasted brassicas and a beet puree. And then a choice of chocolate dessert or the sticky toffee pudding. Sounds delicious. But, you know, listen, bless him. I just, I hope it goes over very well. So do we. So, you know, it'll be great fun. And you do breakfast and brunch. Yes. So brunch on Saturday and Sunday breakfast Monday through Friday. So Monday through Friday, we have breakfast, lunch, happy hour and dinner, and then Saturday, Sunday. Is that all? Yeah, and then Saturday and Sunday, we do brunch from eight to two. Um, and then from 11 to two, we do um, bottomless sangria and bottomless mimosas. Wow. All the things, Ms. Miller, all the things. <laughs> Ms. Miller, mm. <laughs> it sounds terrific. And if people don't know, the place looks beautiful when you walk in. And every time I've been there, service is great as well. And I think, I think the chef always comes out to see you too, right? That guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's really cute. And actually, my waiter was pretty cute too. Don't remember who his name. He was there and a girlfriend was over there, but it was sure fun. And, you know, it's a great spot in Cherry Creek. You do have a valet to park and you will stamp a ticket so it's not too expensive to. Yeah, you could valet park next door at the hotel for $7. Wow. 
not, you know, that's a bargain when you can't find a parking space. For sure, especially in this neighborhood. And, you know, rather than having to go out and, you know, feed the meter and some of the garages are pretty astronomical. So yeah. I think it's a great option for people for seven bucks. You can spend well, them all. I think local Joan sounds like a great option to try. So before we hang up, say goodbye, give address, phone number, web page, hours, and all that again. Yeah, so um, our web page is localjones.com. So very easy to remember. And our address is 249 Columbine Streets. Our number, you can call ahead for reservations. You can also make reservations online through our website or through Resi. Um, and our phone number is 720-772-5022. I have a feeling somebody's helping me. <laughs> And then, and then and we're open, and we're pretty much open all day. So I was just say you're always open. Not, not, you, not between two and five. That's the only time we close. Yeah. Okay. Wait, will you be open like Thanksgiving Day? We will be open all the days. Yeah, we'll, well, we will have limited hours on Thanksgiving, Christmas, Thanksgiving and Christmas, but we will be open for the majority of the day on both oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, really? Oh, good. Christmas yeah. was always a bad day to find. If you weren't going ethnic to find the restaurant. Yeah, we will be open Christmas Day um, and, until about 8 o'clock. Oh, that's plenty long yes. for all of you. So you can Jeff get home. Be here to like, Jeff will be here to like maybe 1 p.m. And then he goes. Jeff? Mm, yes. Chef or Jeff? Jeff. Oh, Chef will be here till 1 p.m. And then he'll go home and see his family. Good for you. Don't you have a baby too, don't you? Two years old. Big two. Oh, okay. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And Cherry Creek is an interesting, busy, busy place. And this is a place that you've created that I think you know, want people to really be comfortable and just have a good time. Yeah. So, we, we just want to make people happy. Well, you made me happy. And I've been thrilled that I get to speak with you and enjoy a few minutes of your busy day too. So thank you. thank you. Is there anything we forgot? Anything that we didn't say that you once said? I, I mean, I think we covered the bases. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do and go enjoy it. And I wish days of having Gabby Gourmet dinners were back and we'd be having one. But we have to we have we, five people. It's gonna be yeah. a small one. <laughs> But we shall stay in touch and hopefully this will all be over soon. Sure. sure. Yeah, well, we hope to see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. You all are great. Have a great weekend. Thank you. And to everybody who's watching us, you too, and go to local Jones. It's great fun. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Gabby. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.